It begins today. Farm bill after farm bill, the U.S. has shifted power further away from independent family farms and rural communities and into the hands of global corporations. Farmers told me about how their current system was created to keep farmers growing commodity crops. The truth is, we don't feed the world. The vast majority of our food and farm exports go to wealthy countries. Most of what we do grow is feed grains for animals, not food for people. It is prolific in terms of calorie and protein production, but increasingly devoid of the farmers and farm workers necessary to produce many of the healthy foods also absent from most Americans' plates. We agree that some foods need to be subsidized. We just haven't agreed that we should subsidize fresh fruits and vegetables. Food has to be a policy issue, not a profit issue. Taking action together, we can shift our farm policies to support food, not feed. This is a room that reminds me of gatherings like Seneca Falls. It's like Margaret Mead, which she says, never forget that a small group of people can make a difference, can change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. Today, we'll show policymakers that it's a new day and a growing coalition is demanding to be heard. We've got a new group a new voice at the table, we've also got the American people with us. And 78% of Americans, voting Americans who were polled, 78% of them say we should be prioritizing in our federal farm policy, food for our neighbors and not feed for livestock. It's a new day and we're here in Washington DC so that our voice can be heard and that we will be at the table as this farm bill is debated and negotiated. And it's my hope that we'll see the President of the United States sign his name on a farm bill that serves all of us, not just corporations.